Matt, thank you for taking your time to talk about the movie. I love that tension all throughout the movie from beginning to end. I mean, I think people are going to feel that. But um, I really think everybody will enjoy what Kevin did. I think Kevin really did a great, great job with his performance. So congratulations. Yeah, no, I really feel like it's that, that type of movie where almost it's almost like a play, right? You have these two these two actors who are on different ends of this, uh, the digital spectrum and they're trying to talk to each other, they're bonding, they're like helping each other. And that's what really drew me to the script originally was the challenge of trying to make something like that um, compelling and filled with tension and suspense. So yeah, I think Kevin really, he's, he's a funny actor too, which is great because I think he brought like a lot of interesting comedy to the role. No, he brought it. I mean, and, and I think you did it extremely well with the with the movie. And I, I want I have a, a two part question that I want to start with, and it's because I think the wire room. Uh, not many people know what you know what entails the, the, the wire room, and I, th and I think Kevin did right being the new guy into the position, and and but then there's a lot of challenges and there's a lot of responsibility behind it. So I wonder when Brandon brought you the script, um, did you brought something into the script uh, regarding trying to mean, because it's, to me it felt really real to maintain some reality in, 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 throughout the story? Well, the funny thing is the writer, Brandon, actually, um, hopefully I get this right, but he told me he used to work with Homeland Security. Wow, so, wow. So that's why he's really, like, that's why I was super knowledgeable on that whole world of the wire room. And, and that's one of the things that drew me in as well was like, when I picked up that script, I was like, Oh, wow. Do you know this, like this whole thing's existed in Homeland security. And I don't know if I like this idea that, that Homeland security is watching, can watch people without their consent and everything. But, um, but yeah, I think he really brought in a lot of authenticity. And then once I was working with him uh, during production, I just, you know, I made tweaks to just enhance tension or suspense for certain elements, but I really tried to keep it as real as possible because it was, this is a real thing. This is coming from somebody who used to work there. So it's kind of cool. That, that's a inter really interesting tip, but I wasn't expecting that, re uh, that answer. Then, then that, now coming from that answer, now that you know uh, a little bit about what, what these people have to go through, do you have a, a newfound respect for their work? Definitely. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not easy. I mean, I could see why it's like, it takes a lot of, uh, training and they have to really put up with a lot of like crazy scenarios sometimes to be able to 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 work the job that they do and then there's a lot of boredom involved too and we had that one scene where uh Kevin he's kind of he just shows up there and he's not sure what to expect so there's just hours and hours of just him watching and surveilling and listening and trying to find those moments so I could definitely see that so um, I, I think people are gonna love the tension. I think I, I, they think I, I wanted to start with that because I mean, to me, that the ninety minutes flew by, and I, I really was. I mean, I, when I when I finished watching the movie, it's like why, it ended. I mean, I'm still caught up in the situation, and, yeah. and it's cool because it's just basically four walls and Kevin doing all the move and all the talking. So Kevin did really. It was important what he did. Uh, what were the challenges of just being there in those two walls with Kevin and, 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 and try to maintain that tension and that thrilling moment? What, 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 for you, what were those challenges in production? Yeah, I mean, with any uh, film or any uh, production you're working on, there's all the different challenges. For this one, obviously, I've, if you look at my uh, filmography, I've done a lot of contained thrillers. I and mean, one of the first films I made was a film called 12 Feet Deep. Well, really, yeah. and it's about two girls stuck in a pool. The whole movie is just two girls stuck in a pool. So I kind of know how to create uh, suspense and tension within the confines of, of the location. So with this, it was a little bit even more challenging because it's literally one character in a room. And as a filmmaker, you're always trying to make everything as cinematic as possible. So whenever you know, have that one location, you're like, oh, how am I gonna make this look cinematic? How do, what do I have to do to make sure that it's just, it's not just a guy sitting at a computer monitor for you know, mm -hmm. 90 minutes, right? Cause that's just gonna be boring. So you have to try to find ways to visually create variety, camera movement, subtle things. A lot of times it's just, it's subtle camera moves. It's trying to find different angles and different uh, perspectives that we haven't seen before, right? Like once you've been in that wire room for, 20 minutes, you've seen every angle. So how do you keep it exciting and interesting visually, cinematically, uh, so the audience, you know, is pulled in by that. I think that's the biggest challenge and 
you know, that's always, I, I just feel like that's something that I've kind of honed in and, and learned over the years doing a lot of contained thrillers. Um, I, I, I'm glad you mentioned uh, 1250 because I also did see only I did love that. And I, I mean, I, I it, it, it has your style, your, that style of, of defining tension. Uh, the action scenes, obviously, at least in the, in the, in the third act, the action scenes really get really uh, physical and really heavy. And, and I know choreography gets, it's really important to make sure that the actors know where they are. And so I, can you walk us through what that specific scene, how did that came about? Uh, did the actors have fun doing all those, those different moves? Yeah, I mean, for me, I, I always want to do practical effects as much as possible. I hate having to do CGI, so I'm always, it, it could be something subtle as like squibs or, you know, a practical explosion. I, I always want to do it in camera because I feel like even if it's not perfect, you can always enhance it with CGI rather than just going into it saying, oh, we're just going to do this all CGI. So that's my mentality whenever I try to shoot an action scene is, how can I make this look real? How can I practically do this? And uh, and I go to the actors and I tell them, hey man, like I want you to do these stunts. I want to try and get as much as you in here as possible. And even though there's not a lot of time sometimes with the constraints, I try to get them to work with you know the stunt coordinator and uh, you know the stunt doubles and really get in there and do as much as it themselves so that the end product uh, it, it just it, it just makes it more real and visceral rather than. Uh, leaning on the CGI. Uh, and, and before I let you go, I got two more questions, but I, I want to talk about Kevin and did, uh, because he absolutely stole it. And I think it's really important that we, ha we have to, we have to talk about what he did. I think what he did was really important. He makes the movie works and then he makes the movie move all throughout the film. The, he brought something. The, it, 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 was there a part in the production that he said, hey, can we add this to the, to the scope of the story? Or was he just following your lead in, in all the way? I feel like every actor brings something, especially a skilled actor. I expect them to bring me something, right? I don't want them to just show up like a robot and read and do whatever. And Kevin is one of those actors. I could see why he's had such a long career. Is he shows up and he's ready to he's ready to bring it. He has ideas, will mm -hmm. bounce back and forth. And I feel, I feel like one of the best things that he brought to it was there was that sort of, like that comedy element. There were scenes where, at the end of the scene, I was like, I feel like, Kevin, there's something you can just ad lib a couple lines here or something, just throw something at the end. And he'd be like, oh, I got you, man. Don't worry about it. I got you. So then, you know, there'd be these funny moments or these funny looks or whatever. Just sometimes it didn't work. But I feel like having that improv uh, skill that he has, he was on Entourage for all those years and doing all the comedy. He just it just brings it. And it's funny. And sometimes it's yeah, it just it, it works so well on screen. So that's what I love about someone like Kevin who can bring a lot to that role and add, add the comedy and, 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 and make the character feel real, right? I mean, you can't just play it like a one note scared rookie or something, right? So yeah. I thought that was a cool uh, element that he brought to it. Yeah, I mean, and I think I, that trailer is actually wearing into the screen. I saw when he brought the physical, you know, the the face comedy to the or the reactions to the situation. He, you absolutely, he absolutely blew it. He actually brought it. One final question, and, and I know, I know people are gonna love it when they see it because of the tension and the, the thrilling moments or, or what is going on between the guy and the, the agent and obviously the perp in the in the other room. But uh, for people that I'm, I'm not absolutely sold on it. What 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 makes a wire room different and of everything else that that we have seen before? Yeah, I feel like it's just uh, it's a new kind of world that you have met, might not have seen before. I mean, not a lot of people, like you said, know about this world of the wire room and how that all kind of plays in. And and it was written, like I said, by somebody who literally used to work <laughs> in Homeland Security, so it has a lot of authenticity to it. And I think it'll feel real and interesting and grounded so hopefully they'll they'll have fun watching that that i, that, I absolutely love that tip it i i'm gonna take that away and i put that on my on my review because i wasn't expecting yeah it, but random to be working there and then by, by the script but i absolutely love what you guys did you did great kevin obviously he blew it thank you again for taking a bit of time to talk about the movie and congratulations once again thank you appreciate it it was great to chat and uh hopefully continue to make some more thank you